The most embarrassing situation I've ever been in would have to be um, when I was singing for the national anthem for a local hockey team and usually I would have a tea because it's very hard to sing in an arena because it's very dry. So I would have a tea with honey and for whatever reason that day I didn't have that. So I was in the middle of singing the anthem and I went to hold out a really long note and my throat was so dry that nothing came out. And then my immediate reaction was to apologize and just continue with the song. But everyone was dying laughing and was like, oh, this is Chelsea's own custom version where she apologizes in the middle of the anthem. So I got made fun of a little bit for that, but I recovered. <laughs> um, I would have to say my favorite sports team is the Toronto Maple Leafs, just because it's a team that I've grown up watching, and I absolutely love hockey, which is also the national sport for Canada, so that would be my favorite sports team. I would not say that beauty pageants have a certain degree of vanity, because I don't believe any of the contestants are necessarily vain. However, there's definitely a degree of confidence and um, just being self-confident and believing that you're beautiful in each individual way. And I think that's important, but I would not say that it's necessarily being vain. Uh, yes, uh, it's been a very long preparation, which started back in September. It's definitely a journey that I've grown from. Um, you learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about contestants, you meet tons of friends, you get to work with all these amazing things. Working with the SOS Children's um, Foundation has been as well amazing and hearing stories about the girls trip to Nicaragua, like just the entire experience has just been totally positive and I look forward to continuing with it.